my first go really with a, a graduated filter was from the top of the Rockefeller Center building uh, in the early 1980s and it was it was twilight it was in the winter and uh, I, I used the filter to darken the sky and um, it seems so natural now but at the time it was a bit of a revolution for me I could see how it was balancing the light and improving the picture and when I got the film back, it was it was a really, really probably the best picture I'd ever done of a, of a city skyline. So, uh, you know, that got me really into it from a, from an early age. When I was a student, I used black and white, and I always used to print my own work. So you had a fair amount of control. You think of in the dark, and you can dodge and burn to adjust the balance of the light. You can't do that with color transparency. You certainly couldn't back in the 80s before digital uh, repro. Uh, everything had to be right on film and I pretty quickly learned that if I used neutral density graduated filters I could produce better pictures and that gave me a, a sort of an edge uh, in the marketplace. I've always used them ever since and certainly using transparency film I was always trying to get the picture right in camera. I think everybody knows that you can do an awful lot with uh, digital post-production uh, and, and one might think that that would therefore mean the need for filters was less. But in, in fact, what I find is, if anything, it's become an even more integral part of, uh, of my workflow and perhaps more importantly, workflow of people that I work with. DSLRs have excellent live view. You can position the filter at the taking aperture. It shows you exactly what you're going to get. If you get it right in camera, there's an immediate incentive to keep developing the idea, to keep the enthusiasm uh, for the picture going. And I think the trouble is if you shoot without and you're trying to read between the lines or the sky's rather bright, maybe too, far too bright and the landscape's too dark and you think, well, I'll fix it later. The landscape area, the dark part of the image, the signal quality is not so high. Better signal quality, better tonal quality, better color detail. And in that sense, it really helps enhance the sort of craft element of photography. And I think sometimes, you know, the camera manufacturers, they, you know, they, they try to make the whole process as easy as possible. And you can understand why, because it is a, a mass market industry. But actually, in the area that I work, mostly with really enthusiastic photographers, however experienced they are, they want to be in control of the process. They don't actually want the camera doing everything for them. For them, it's, it's a natural thing to do and it's a, a real part of the pleasure of the photographic process. It's a lot more fun and ultimately, I think that's what most people want from their photography.